I am totally aware that I have made a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes and bad decisions, and I've been trying to do this all by myself, and sometimes it hurts so bad when it seems like nobody cares or nobody's willing to even give it a chance, um, you know, to, to work this out, you know, to actually let's just go for it. I mean, if, if we just try to take care of all the little bits and pieces of all the little problems with a little you know, a little bit of good here and a little there, that's not going to be enough because the sin of the world is so heavy. The weight of the sin of the world is so heavy that there's absolutely no way we can balance those scales and escape destruction unless we do something really big. <laughs> really, you know, I mean, we just have to, like, we have to do something huge, you know? And that would mean going for everything. You know, I mean, the most important thing that we can dream for is to have a home, our earth, so that we can have our dreams come true. If we don't have a home in a world and we don't have our, our if we don't have each other and we don't have any, um, life force or energy and all we are is just rotting flesh, with no heart or soul, I mean, that's going to, of course they're going to let us destroy ourselves. We'll be a failed experiment. The Universal Council, the Grail Gods, they will let us destroy ourselves if we're not worth saving. And the only way we can be worth saving is if we save ourselves and each other. Hello. Hi. How are you? This is Tree, T-R-E-E-E -E -E with three E's. Welcome to the Sound of Silence. I have put some audio here for you to listen and hopefully gain some nuggets of insight to help you on your own quest for the Grail, the Holy Grail. It's a very, very, very necessary thing for us to evolve is to access, tap and access the power of the Grail and Figuring out how to do that, well, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, I know that Queen Elizabeth sits in the throne of King David, which is the Grail throne. Jesus was called the son of David because he was the heir to the throne, which the throne the royal family sits in and the throne that Queen Elizabeth sits in. Well, that's the Grail throne, and the family is too, and that's supposed to be the Grail family, which is supposed to be heaven on earth. It's supposed to be God on earth, protectors of the entire world on earth, you know, that center, location to mother, nurture, father, care for, teach, love, encourage, and take care of the world and everybody and make sure that this is a very divine, heavenly place. And I don't really see anybody doing their job with the grail thrones, and my idea is you know, how else are we going to make heaven on earth unless we return the grail thrones back to their rightful owners? And one could be you, you know, or no. If it is, then let me know so we can get this going so we can have an earth party. <laughs> it is 7.41 a.m. on the 24th day of April. 2007, and this is Tree, and um, I'm paying special attention to Taurus because Elizabeth brought it up a few times, and so obviously it must be very um, special and a good time for stuff to happen, otherwise it wouldn't be important. And so I figured that there's no time like the present than to go ahead and make this formal request or um, offer whichever way you want to look at it. It's going to probably take a few of these um, messages in order for me to be able to say the entire thing that I'm trying to say um, because I only get two minutes each time. So um, <laughs> even now I'm starting to clam up. But no, I have to be organized and be um, mature and act in a way that you know, will make you take me seriously so that you take me seriously. 
and consider my offer or my request. And um, just thinking about it, I'm beginning to salivate right now. It's crazy. Uh, so well, there's not really enough time on this message to really start it, but it has to do with I'll start it, but I'll finish it next. The next one. Um, okay. I need a class from class so bad. I really do. I'm so willing to learn. I swear I could be molded into a very useful person. You know, it would really be true. And I just am like Plato with no creator. You know, I'm the clay. Where's the potters? You guys, okay. You know, I keep thinking about the mind of God and Osiris. Where is he? Where is the mind of God? You know, because in order for us to evolve and to be able to tap the powers of the grail, we have to be able to remember things and we have to be able to be to be godlike, to be to have the mind of God. What is that? The computer, the computer brain. Whatever it is at the end of our computers is where he would be. And there's so many locks and blocks being put on us by the computer police and restrictions and monitoring our computer access and activity back to ourselves, back to the mind of God. Think about it. That's our right. We need to get in there. And what are they going what are we gonna do when they scramble all the computer signals and the cell phone signals? How am I gonna find you guys? Because they've probably been doing that all through time, giving us a little bit and then taking it away. You know, and think about it, when they scramble our computers and cell phones, we're gonna be screwed, all of us. And plus, you know, we're being like magnetically pulled and that magically, magnetically pulled, like through a vacuum, you know, on our energies and it's sucking us up into somewhere. We gotta get in to get ourselves out where we're still conscious enough. And you also don't need any majestic demon or malicious troll to go and get your crowns and thrones and birthrights for you. Those malicious demons and divine trolls, <laughs> majestic demons and malicious trolls, whatever. <laughs> They're just in the way and they got their hands out, really. And all they want is your crowns, your thrones, and your birthrights. Really. They're in the way. We don't need them. Those things are just in your way. And it's planted that way. Think about it. This is serious stuff. And my computer has been sent malicious software, and it's like I can't even make it move enough to even get online. Next tree. Okay, it, I was listening to the messages I'm sending you, and it says, you know, I'm saying for 44 days you can observe me, and it sounds like I'm saying you can serve me, but that's not what I'm saying. It's very important that you know that I said for 44 days you can observe me and then interact and, and have different things set out for different days and different challenges, different tests, different opportunities, different rituals, different encounters with deities, and a tease, you know, that you guys can represent or be or whatever, and then, you know, have it all come together into every day dying more and more, and then on the 44th day, I will be almost dead, literally. It will be being born again. And But as that happens, it will infuse the divine life force, and then I, and then I will be able to sh orbit out, you know, and stuff, and you'll be right there being able to absorb it exactly the same second. And my power that I want is to heal. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to be the hippie healer, the divine hippie, the divine hippie healer, whatever. I'm going to go around the world and heal people and things and love and just be doing that. But you guys need your powers. You need to be infused with your own entity with identity so that you can take care of your responsibilities because your thrones and your seats and your chairs and your positions and your ranks and your titles didn't go all this way just to, ha to lose them or not be able to hold them or live up to them. You know, and so it's only it's only natural to believe that um, this will all work out once you guys have the power that you need to equal your title. 